Okay, today we're going to be unboxing the IMS Single Row Pro Retrofit Kit. I want to bring to your attention the serial number of this unit is 29716. As we unbox, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, our registration card here and just make sure that it has the vehicle sticker and it has the number that matches uh, on the registration card that matches the box. In this case it does and it tells us that we have the Single Row Pro IMS Retrofit Kit in this box for registration and when you're done registering the product as you'll see in the pre-qualification video that is a mandatory must watch before carrying out your IMS retrofit procedure, you'll send your bearing, that's the original bearing, to the IMS Solution LLC address that is located here. Okay, so with that out of the way, there's two particular boxes inside of this box. Some of the other kits have a few more components in them. You want to make sure that these have not been tampered with, meaning they have not been opened. Um, if they've been opened, there's a possibility that they had been returned, and you do not want to have a returned product because somebody could have misinstalled it or removed components from it. So here we have the IMS bearing. This is your retrofit component. It will come out of the bag a little oily. That's preservation oil. And you want to look to make sure that it has no signs of being installed before, no marks on it, anything like that. You also want to make sure there's no debris inside the bearing. Um, this preservation oil a lot of times will try to collect dirt and debris. So once you take this out, you want to make sure that you put it back into its protective bag to make sure that no debris gets pulled into the bearing that can contaminate it. And you want to leave it inside that bag until it is ready to install it into your engine. In this case, ours is good to go. It's not been returned or anything like that. We're going to put it back into the, bear, yeah, the bag here. and then seal it up. Here again, you want to make sure that nothing has been uh, opened or tampered with. In this case, we're still good to go. And here, you've got a couple of things. The first is the IMS Solution Flange. This is a, a billet steel component. There's a small desiccant pack in there as well that you can see inside the bag. That's for preservation for corrosion uh, resistance. And this also has preservation oil in it as well. It is branded with the LN Engineering logo. All genuine IMS retrofit kits that are not copycats will have the genuine LN Engineering logo here. And it has a date and year stamp here. Um, that's for registration purposes only on the end of IMS solution. So that is that component. Then also here we have the lock ring. Now this will be placed on the outside of your replacement IMS bearing. Okay, so uh, we'll go over that in the installation video of that product when the time comes. This lock ring must be in a virgin state having never been used before. These are a one-time use only. Uh, if they've been installed before, it will actually break them on extraction. And then wrapped here, we have the hardware that will hold the IMS flange onto the engine case. There's three of these bolts, and they are micro-encapsulated. That's the uh, white that you see there. These will pass through the flange and into the crankcase to retain the flange in place in the engine. So this concludes the unboxing of the IMS Single Row Pro Retrofit Kit. All of your components in the kit should be as you see here in the video. If you have any components missing, please contact the reseller or Ellen Engineering.